So Shannon, continue with the Fannie Mae guidelines update, uh, version 11, right? Version 11. Version 11. So there was one more thing that had to do with um, the rent, right? Yes. And explain to our viewers exactly what, because I obviously can't remember. I just said the rent. So. Yeah, the, the rent. The rent. Uh, so, you know, a lot of times when people, particularly when people are buying their first home, um, a lot of times they're younger, they don't have a lot of credit history, uh, and mortgage history can be something very helpful in qualifying for a mortgage, which can be hard on your first one. Um, so Fannie Mae has released this update talking about how we can now utilize positive rent history in the credit risk assessment. So basically it can be taken into consideration if you have a positive rent history um, and can help you qualify. Particularly helpful for people who have what we call thin credit, meaning they don't have a lot of credit. So they may have a credit score, but they only have say one credit card that they've been making payments on or one auto loan that they've been making payments on. That's called thin credit. And um, this positive rent history can be something that could really be helpful in offsetting um, what could possibly be what we call refer or, you know, not approved um, to an approval. So I think that's super exciting news in our world and something I look forward to kind of seeing how uh, it can impact people for the positive. Yeah, so both of these um, updates that we talked about, it's really, I mean, cutting edge, like in terms of it's just coming out. So a lot of this is relatively new. So again, yeah. the main thing, reach out to us, talk to us. Um, there's lots of stuff coming up in the pipeline and stuff that's changing every day that may make your situation from, like Shannon said, a refer to now being able to get a mortgage. So reach out, talk to us. We're here for you any day. Yep.